Hello, welcome back to my channel. So today we're gonna explore a new area that I've discovered not that long ago, which is called La Petite Italie, which is very close to Bobien as well. So if you've ever heard about that, so this is where we're gonna go today. And also, I felt like being a bit dramatic today. So I'm gonna address a couple of uh, myths about Montreal. I hear a lot of things, so many cliches, so many stereotypes going on. Of course, I know this is all based on opinions. So this is gonna be just based on my experience, my opinions. I'm completely fine if you don't agree with me. Full disclaimer, I'm not like pretending that uh, the things that I'm gonna say are facts. This is just based on my experience and how I feel. So now, as you guys know, I'm living in a myland right now. So I'm walking to um, the area that I'm talking about, so La Petite Italie. I'm gonna film a little bit just to give you a little bit um, of the atmosphere and everything. And then we're gonna get right into it. So we're officially here in La Petite Italie. So I think it's the perfect time to address a first couple of myths. Okay, so let's get started. So first of all, the thing that I hear everywhere and before moving to Montreal in 2014, I would hear that everywhere, that the winter lasts six months and that it's every day it's minus 30 degrees Celsius. So I gotta say guys, this is not true. Um, first of all, the winter, yeah, it does kind of, yeah, it does last six months. I cannot lie about that. Okay, so yeah, it's it's pretty long. I mean, it starts at the end of November. You see that we are in the middle of the month of November. I'm wearing a little jacket and I'm freaking cold. Yeah, I'm freaking cold. <laughs> it's like, I try to make a point that I'm not sure about. <laughs> no, honestly, guys, it's just that the weather is... The weather is intense in Montreal, okay? But this is not as extreme as people say, especially the, this past couple of years with the climate change, I, I saw a dramatic change. Um, when I arrived uh, in 2014, my first winter was 2015 winter. And then I gotta say that it was a pretty intense one. But this past three years, I mean, my entire time in Montreal, these six years, I've probably faced the minus 30 degrees maybe six times in my life here. So this is not that much. Generally, the weather is like minus, I would say minus 13 in the morning Celsius. And then you have to, the afternoon it gets minus eight. This is pretty, this is the average that I would, that I could validate at some point. So yeah, it's probably around minus 10. But the, the hardest part, as I was saying earlier, is not that it's that intense since the weather in Montreal is pretty dry. So which means that a minus 10 here, doesn't feel that it's dry it's not humid so it doesn't feel that horrible but the problem is that it's super long and the uh, winter gets pretty dark too say but this is not as intense as people say it it's not minus 30 every day if you're about to move to montreal uh, after the whole drama don't worry you won't die so the winter is not that bad okay first myth second myth uh and i heard about that um people say that nobody speaks English in Montreal. This is absolutely false. That this is definitely false. That I can say it's a fact. I mean, I would even say that in some areas of the city, people only speak English. I mean, mainly speak English. Uh, for example, Westmount, which is a little city in the middle of the city of Montreal, is an English speaking city. Everyone in Montreal, I mean, when I'm talking about stores, I'm talking about cafe, and I'm even talking about people of my generation, but even older generation, people usually speak English. And I was working uh, in retail uh, in Montreal um, for three years, and uh, I would say that 60% of my customers were English speaking customers so of course this is something that people from Quebec the Quebecois are really fighting against because they want to they want to keep French as the main language and I think it's a beautiful battle but you know we are in a very big city in North America so in a city where a lot of people come from other places so English becomes you know a, a, an easy way for everybody but do not worry if you don't speak french you're gonna be completely fine people speak an amazing english here um okay so these are two myths uh, now let's explore a little bit la little italy then we're gonna address a couple more let's go
Okay, so the plan was just to make some videos and explore the area, but now I'm like, who would go to Italy without getting an express? Okay, I already had two coffees this morning and it's only 11.45. But let's go for a third one. What do you think? <laughs> I think it could be a great idea. And it doesn't make sense to go to La Little Italy and not get an espresso. Yeah, I'm trying to convince myself. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's just self-convincing. Since you guys can obviously not answer, I'm gonna do it anyway. Let's grab an espresso. Hi. Uh, I'm gonna get an espresso allongé, please. I heard that you guys were really well known here. Uh, is this long enough in here? Or you want um, to so about three quarters? Exactly, oh. not too short. Not quite ready for the Italian style, <laughs> not yet. Oh wow. Understand? Yeah, I do understand. Uh, sugar? Uh, no, I'm fine. Just All like right, that. Good. At least one thing we need. <laughs> one thing right. <laughs> I don't take cards, but I'm offering you the coffee, okay? Oh, no, no, no. I do have cash, I think. It's okay, I'm offering you the coffee. That's good. so nice. Thank you okay. very much. Enjoy. Thank you very much. Have a nice day. My pleasure. See you soon. It's time for me to have the espresso, the Italian espresso. So the guy ended up offering me the coffee because he doesn't take debit card. And I was like, what? I had cash. And he said, no, it's so nice. And now we're ready to enjoy the Italian espresso. I should not be drinking coffee right now. I already had two. It's only 11.45 or 12. I'm an addict, what do you want? I'm uh, currently sitting in an Italian park, which is pretty nice. It's in the middle of La Dita d'Italie. The park has been made in an Italian way. So there is a little touch of decoration that are very Italian. I really like it. It really put us in the mood. I literally feel in Italy when I'm here and I've never been to Italy. So it's a pretty big statement. Let's address a few other myths about Montreal. So the third one that I wanted to address is the fact that there is an underground city. Like everyone said that before I arrived here, people was like, make sure to visit the underground city. And this is not true guys. <laughs> I have to say there is, yeah, there is a big mall and there is um, a tunnel that linked three metro station and then is the ground. Maybe three, maybe four, I don't know. Maybe two, I don't even remember. But there is no underground city. It's just a big, big, big metro station with a couple of stores in it. But there is nothing to visit necessarily and it's not that pretty by the way. So um, FYI, if you're excited about Montreal for that, there is plenty other reasons to get excited for the city, uh, but that is not one. Then the fourth thing that I wanted to talk about might be a bit more controversial is the thing that before arriving, even my phone cannot handle it. Uh, too much, too much drama. So basically, before arriving here, um, so me, I'm from France, and I was living in the U.S. right before arriving in Montreal. So in France, I got the thing that people here in Quebec and in Montreal are extremely nice, very friendly, very nice. But in the U.S., I got a different version. People were saying that like Canadians in general are very yes person, too nice might be a bit naive sometimes and you know they make jokes about canadians all the time and at the end of the day i ended up with the the big stereotype in my head that like people here in montreal are very warm and nice and this is not necessarily something that i agree with I'm not saying that people are not nice here but i'm just saying that for example, when I was living in the US, one thing really surprised me. So I was living in Washington DC, so pretty big city, very international city. Uh, one thing surprised me is that when I would get in the bus or get in a taxi or whatever, because sometimes we share a taxi, people would, would directly talk to me. Or even in Ubers, people automatically have a conversation with you. When I arrived in Montreal, I had this stereotype in mind that people were super nice and warm. and I was actually kind of surprised because people don't talk that much in metros, in in you know public places and everywhere we go. So even like the fact that I'm vlogging now, I know that if I was doing that in, for example, in the US, I've done that a bit in, in, in California when I went there a couple of months ago. And I think people interact a bit more with you. They just, even the way they look at you, the, the way that they, they look at what you're doing and they're, they're gonna smile or they will try to interact with you or play with you. And this is actually something that I was expecting even more from Montreal because people said that everyone is super nice here. And I, I was actually kind of surprised to see that, no, actually, but, 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 
the thing is that it's not that people are not nice it's just that people here are extremely respectful and this is a place where i realize that people have more social intelligence than anywhere i've been before people are extremely smart they know exactly where they should interact with you and when they should not interact with you but but i have to say that i, I cannot say that people are warm since there are, there is always this kind of barrier between you and other people since they're always trying to respect your space and being polite yeah it's all about when you're too polite it's hard to be warm because being warm is some somehow breaking these boundaries and breaking this, this barrier and that 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 fear of interacting with others that we don't know with strangers and i feel like in, in montreal in general we tend to stay in little bubble so for example if i have my friends i'm gonna stay with my friends and not necessarily interact with other group of people when i feel like in maybe other countries like latin culture or even the u.s washington dc i know the u.s can be a bit that divided but this is my take again it's just my experience but i had a hard time making friends because i felt like people were really staying with some kind of group so let's say me i'm french i could see that french people would stay with french people and i can see after six years i'm confident enough to say that it's a, a, a real thing that i've noticed here in montreal maybe it's just a big north american city and i got extremely lucky in washington dc maybe it was just coincidences i don't know but in my opinion saying that here people in montreal are warm and too nice or yes persons no i think these are people extremely polite very very uh, with a lot of social intelligence so there is no drama here almost never i've never seen people fight in the streets or whatever but i gotta say that since they're so polite and so respectful of others boundaries sometimes it lacks a little bit of spontaneity and um, it lacks a little bit of warmness to me to me as someone who grew up in a different culture um yeah so i hope you won't get too controversial this is just my opinion i don't know if you guys agree with me um but this is uh, my take so now um i think i addressed quite a few stereotypes i have a lot more but we can do another video if that you like that one um so now i'm gonna finish my espresso and we're gonna explore some uh, other parts of la little italy and maybe uh we could uh, end it up here you know after that the couple shots we we're gonna end the video have a a, a few other things that i want to show you guys I included that beautiful church that i can see just right here so yeah i hope you guys enjoy the video